Hey, what up? It's the Rev, Reverend 20 Piece. Out here hiking today. I am at Devil's Eyebrow. It's not really a state park, but it's just a kind of like a trailhead uh, nature preserve area. And um, it's got a, five, uh, I think if I did the whole trail, it's almost six miles, but uh, I'm not doing that today. <laughs> I'm gonna do probably uh, about half of that. So I'll get in walking uh, eh, somewhere between, uh, depending on where I stop, four to six miles of hiking today. But uh, yeah, it's a beautiful fall day here in Northwest Arkansas. And uh, yeah, it's fucking beautiful. Just decided to get out and, you know, try and reevaluate things I don't um, you know sometimes I, I, I try I'm like a creature of habit and I've kind of gotten out of some of my routines over the last few months and <clears throat> excuse me hiking is one of them but I have no excuses now because the weather's uh, it's definitely not too hot to hike so and there's no insects insects <laughs> and uh so I'm going to try and um, uh, at least once a month get out and hike. I mean, I don't think that's unreasonable. And more if I can. But, uh, you know, so yeah. Yeah, it's going on. I do apologize if there is any wind noise when the video is uploaded. I can't control that, you know. But, like I said, I just wanted to, in advance, apologize if the audio is poor. Or... <laughs> more poor than normal <laughs> but yeah I had a few things on my mind just wanted to uh, go over and uh, so that I stay on topic or at least so I can fucking remember what I was wanting to talk about uh, I got me some notes <laughs> yes kids the <clears throat> The old Rev is uh, not getting any younger, and uh, my memory has not, it has not and is not getting better with age. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah. There's more of that breeze coming through. Uh, but this trail's fairly rocky, so I kind of got to pay attention a little bit. Or you see me end up on my ass, it's because uh, I hit some loose gravel. <laughs> but uh, oh man so <clears throat> this again is just going to be another rambling hiking video but I I do want to have some sort of a theme and I think uh, uh, nihilistic nihilism that type of feeling will probably be the theme of this video I was going to talk about uh, the difference between um, MGTOW and being a bachelor, like, and I mean historical bachelor, but I don't know. We may get into that. If if I do, I'll I'll put that in the title. If not, I can I'll discuss that on another video. <clears throat> but it is a topic I wanted to hit, just because uh, I do think there's a difference. So, but as far as uh, some of the random shit that's been on my mind. Looking at the sign here. Checking this out. For the Devil's Eyebrow Natural Area. It's kind of it's similar to the sign when I walked in, so it doesn't really tell me much. <clears throat> but that's fine. So, um, I'll start off with a couple things that were just, like I said, some random type thoughts. Almost lost the fucking camera. That would have sucked. So let me uh, readjust this thing. Excuse me while I whip this out. <laughs> um, so I did just want to make a couple quick housekeeping notes, like about uh, I may be 
I, I already have an account on BitChute. I haven't put any videos on there. Man, this is fucking steep here. <clears throat> so, uh, I may um, put some videos on BitChute. <sighs> you know, and if I do, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it. But I, I notice a lot of um, Red Pill and MGTOW content creators are moving over to that platform due to the fuckery with you with the uh, YouTube then I completely understand it it's 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 warranted so um, <clears throat> I may at least get a little bit of a foothold there in case uh, my channel ever gets deleted or there's any issues I have the majority of the videos saved so I can re-upload them but it, it's fucking time consuming so I'm I don't know we'll see we'll see how that goes but, uh, and that leads into another thing. I, I would like to produce somewhat better quality, at least like develop an intro or something like that and, uh, put that into my videos, maybe even an, an outro. I don't know. But, uh, again, that's been due to time constraints. That's probably the, the, uh, only reason I haven't done that yet. I mean, I'm sure I can figure out how to fucking do it and cut video and edit it and, that, you know, if some of these other fucking dumbasses that make videos can do it, I know I can fucking do it. Um, it's just a matter of learning how to do it and time, so that's a, a goal I'd like to get to. Maybe that'll be like a fucking New Year's resolution or something, or, <clears throat> but, so I'm at least thinking about quality. <laughs> we'll see how where it goes um but yeah so that's that's kind of where i'm at with that and along with content quality i would like to work on articulating my message better i um you know i don't consider myself like a deep philosopher or something like that but i do think i am uh fairly in tune with uh, <clears throat> some deeper thought and topics that are relevant to today, histor historically and today. And um, sometimes I have trouble, I, I have the thoughts, but when I talk about it, it sometimes they don't come out very intelligent, but I'm, I'm working on it. So I'm cognizant of it, I'm aware of it, and um, always trying to get better, you know, looking for work. So, um, but yeah, those are just a few of the housekeeping things, but I just wanted to get out of the way first for any regular, regular content viewers, which I know it's just a small group, but I appreciate it. The, uh, 20, 20 or 30 so folks that regular, regularly, I can't even talk regularly. <laughs> interact with this channel i do i do appreciate it so like i was saying before i use this kind of more as a vlog slash social media type thing and i do in, enjoy interact interacting with the subs so it's a fun little hobby of mine it's an outlet but uh so yeah <clears throat> nice creek running along here starting to warm up it's probably about uh at least 55 degrees out so i might have a little little much on for this shit might just downgrade take this fucking sweatshirt off <clears throat> or at least the hat the cap so as far as me i feeling you know, with the nihilism type um, feeling, nihilistic, or some people call it black pill or whatever the fuck you want to label it. <clears throat> um, pretty nice. Uh, basically, my stance on it is. Uh, well, not my stance, my, my general feeling is, you know, I, I do have that kind of don't give a fuck type general feeling or attitude. 
lately I've just been kind of feeling, you know, eh, not happy. Not sad, though. Just kind of, eh, in between. And, um, so, uh, I don't know. Maybe some of y'all know where I'm coming from. <clears throat> I mean, I'm not in a bad mood. I just... I'm not fucking overly enthusiastic about anything right now. Um, but I'm definitely, I'm not sad either, so. It, it's. You know, in my history, and probably a few close friends of mine know this, that, you know, I've struggled, or I used to struggle with depression, you know, a lot when I was younger. Um, probably didn't start until my teen years, late, mid, mid, I don't know, mid teen. And then, uh, <clears throat> worked it out of my system about my, uh, eh, probably mid thirties or something like that. It's pretty. There's more of that stream. But yeah, so, and I was never like, I never went, did any treatment or um, saw it any, you know, was on medication for anything. It wasn't like, that's not what I mean. I wasn't, and I wasn't constantly depressed. It's just I would deal with these bouts of, uh, you know, life throws the curveballs. I think it, it was, uh, frankly, I, I think a lot of it was just, or part of it was just being, you know, <clears throat> not tough enough, you know, or resilient enough. And, uh, along with that, understanding life. And if I'd had some mentorship or, you know, some better advice, you know, from my father, or should my father have lived, and I, <clears throat> and I could have counseled him a little bit more, you know, as I'd gotten older, that probably would have helped out. But, uh, it is what it is, so I, I <laughs> was in the situation that I was in. Well, this is fucking steep, too. So, um, but <clears throat> the point of that being, though, or the point that I'm even bringing this up was, I, let me take a fucking break. I'm not going to be able to talk and walk up this motherfucker. <clears throat> Pardon me <laughs> for the interruption. So, part of what I was saying was that about the depression was that um, when I learned about MGTOW and red pill content, that my depression has been well, I haven't really had any depression since then, and that. I think a lot of that is due to finally understanding fucking things the way the world works, um, nature, naturally, and how politics in our modern fucking Western society has uh, <clears throat> done me and all men who live in it a disservice. And going through that and understanding it, you know, and it was a, a years long process because I first. Uh, ran across MGTOW stuff in late 2015 and um and then with that red pill stuff I, although I didn't realize it was red pill at the time and I now I I kind of feel like uh whether I'm MGTOW or not I'm definitely in in the red pill sphere at least with my my line of thinking and, and that philosophy but um so you know and that helped me out a lot just just realizing that and I've said this in other videos, but realizing that I was lied to, even by family members, um, definitely the media and society at large, my mom, you know, <laughs> for example, like, uh, you know, some of the she shit she would say about basically indoctrinating, indoctrinating me to be put women on a pedestal fucking shit like girls like nice guys um 
sex is a this beautiful thing between a man and a woman and all this other shit that's, you know, that last part, I mean, that may be true depending on your perspective, but I don't, it's, I've found that the majority of women, don't, they don't want to be fucking treated nice in bed and sweet and lovey-dovey, you know, it's, it's, uh, they like you to dominate, you know, so the, the majority that I've dealt with. I'm not saying some don't like that, but or maybe your experience is different. I'm just telling you my experience. So, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, that's what I'm saying is finally coming across a group of people that are talking about the truth rather than the fucking garbage that I was taught the majority of my life. Um, <clears throat> It just, it was refreshing and like a, a mental and spiritual cleanse, so to speak. So, and I know I'm not the only one that feels that way, but, uh, but yeah. And if I sound a little butt hurt, you know, yeah, maybe I am a little butt hurt about the whole fucking experience because... <clears throat> I'm not butt hurt about the, you know, learning this stuff later than, than what I wish I had learned or because I had to figure it out my own so, somewhat. Uh, man. Steep ass hill. Woo! get winded pause that thought we get to this top of this fucking hill <laughs> Fuck. lean into it that's what I'm working with here So, <laughs> get back to my story time, my talk. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I am a little butt hurt, but I'm butt hurt because I was fucking lied to, not because it it took me longer to to figure shit out than than uh, <clears throat> what it probably should have taken. But uh, it is what it is. But at least I got the knowledge now. And that's the main point. <clears throat> so <clears throat> better late than never. So anyway, but that moves on to, you know, I was watching a, uh, whose video was that? There was a Sticks Hex and Hammer video the other day, and he was talking about generalizations of red pill, blue pill, black pill, <clears throat> nihilism. And he said something about black pill is when you've had too much red pill. And <laughs> or overdose on red pill. And I guess in a way, yeah, I mean, I kind of fall probably into that category right, category right now. Um, and it is what it is, you know, if the shoe fits where, so, so to speak. And, uh, that's just kind of along with my general mood. And, um, that's kind of the path I feel like I'm on right now. Just, uh, 
you know, I don't give a fuck and I don't have to, you know, and there's almost uh, no reason to, you know, and I've been, uh, at this point, I'm just trying to enjoy life and get through life as happy and as healthy as I can and, you know, live for myself, you know, <clears throat> so I also, I think some of this, my attitude is, or point of view perspective is partially due to, uh, um, it's a lot of factors, but it's, it's also some of the stuff I, I've read, you know, over the last few years, like one of them, I wanted to do a whole video on this, but this is, I'll just throw it to this video rather than do a separate one. But it's, it's a, like, for example, if you have not read it, read it, not read it. <laughs> if you have not read this article, it's called The Fate of Empires. And it's by uh, the author is Sir John Glubb. And I, I'm not the only one who recommends this. There's a lot of people, people I follow that I, I think are uh, definitely much smarter people than me and more accomplished. One of them is a guy named Pastor Joe Fox from Viking Preparedness. Uh, I'm not religious on his level, but he's got a lot of good uh, preparedness advice, that type of stuff. And um, this particular article, The Fate of Empires, it basically talks about empires through history, how long they last. I'm not going to get into the, the entire review of the article, but it talks about how most major empires are, you know, nothing lasts forever. Uh, pretty much everything in life is cyclical. And the United States is no exception to that. <laughs> and I, I'm not wishing for our country to go to shit or collapse or any of that type of stuff. It It's out of my fucking control. I'm just saying that um, at some point, I think we're already on the down, down. You know, we've already peaked and we're heading down. But uh, even if we haven't already, if we're still in the ascend, which, again, I, I don't personally believe that, but... Uh, just by some of the check the, the boxes that have been checked in this article you go through it again I'm not listing everything off I haven't read this article in probably six months so I'm, I'm not <clears throat> up to speed on every detail but you look at the the, the points uh, all the boxes that you, that you check as your empire is ascending and then descending and this one hits it on the money <clears throat> and um, that's and I'm saying this has contributed to my point of view, you know, so to speak. And um, I don't know. I, I, if you haven't read it, I think you should read it. I'll leave a link down down below and down there. And if if you have trouble fucking with the link, you can't find it, shoot me, shoot me an email, and I'll email the motherfucker to you, a PDF copy. <clears throat> it's free, uh, reverend20peace at gmail.com. So, um, but yeah, that, that, and that's... That's just kind of the the way I feel, you know, and kind of my state of mind and state of being lately. So, yeah, um, along with that, I think uh, another contributing factor is just like at work <clears throat> or when I train with the army, it's like, I don't know, I, I just see a lot of people fucking... A lot of fraud, waste, and abuse going on in the government, at least in my area of the government that I deal with. Uh, people who don't give a shit, <clears throat> they um, they don't go the extra mile to help fucking soldiers out. <clears throat> and um, that kind of plays on a, a Terrence Pop video that I recently watched about uh, le leadership. He put two of them out recently, the 15-minute one, which I'll throw in the link down below. <laughs> at some point um, that's the one I'm referencing particularly particularly is yeah I mean the the leadership I mean it's just not what it used to be um, like I said there's almost very few uh, NCOs go the extra mile to help soldiers or think outside the box to fucking um, enhance training or anything you know i mean I, it's just fucking it's sad to see honestly and um i i firmly believe if we 
just from what I'm seeing internally, uh, you know, people can't meet the PT stand. Half the fucking organization that I'm in, part part of the army that I'm in, can't even meet the fucking PT standards, which aren't even that fucking hard. I mean, literally, literally half of them fail, and they're mostly younger people, younger than me, way younger than me. <clears throat> so it's it's sad, you know. So you know, I was talking with one of my friends recently, and he he wonders why I kind of I don't know if he wonders, but he I think he was curious as to why I feel the way I do. Well. This video is why I feel the way I do. <laughs> and I'll direct you to this video. So, I don't know. Like I say, I firmly believe that if the should the United States get into a conflict with a near peer or someone wants a, a competitor, which like China is slowly, they're almost there. We get into a fucking real war with people that have the, the same technology as we have or really close. We're gonna fucking lose, and I, and I hate to <clears throat> hate to be that way, be, be the bummer. I'm just I'm just telling you what I see from the inside. So the president can talk all this shit he wants about fucking how great the military is, but uh, it ain't uh, <laughs> boots on the ground. You know these generals can talk all their shit, but <laughs> they are far far away from the uh, the troops on the ground. So, back moving again to that uh, brief break. <clears throat> and I am learning with this shit. Uh, so there's a, I can pause the video. <laughs> but yeah, if you uh, agree, disagree with my state of uh, military readiness, uh, just, uh, I'd like to hear your, your comment below, because, uh, yeah, I think we're fucked. I think we could, we could beat any kind of third world country or anything like that, but I just see a lot of, uh, soldiers I deal with just, they, uh, they don't have the resiliency that they probably, a lot of them should have. I'm not saying the whole fucking military is fucked. I'm just saying <clears throat> we're probably going to get if it's going to turn around the only wake up call is going to be a bunch of people coming back in fucking coffins but uh, as long as we can we go up against technologically um, inferior opponents and uh countries that don't have an endless supply of money by running budget deficits <laughs> yeah we'll kick those fucking countries asses but you go up against a determined similarly equipped foe that's more disciplined yeah we're fucking done but uh my opinion obviously feel free to agree disagree whatever so be it. But, uh, so yeah. That type of stuff. Along with, uh, <clears throat> the other, other things I mentioned. That's kind of how I feel the way I do. Oh, another thing, though. The incredible bureaucracy of the military also, uh, disheartens me. <laughs> takes fucking like a ream of fucking paperwork to get anything done or get approved or it's a pain in the ass very time consuming and I understand why because of safety and there's regulation and shit like that but it's overly bureaucratic it doesn't have to be quite what it is but all that bureaucracy creates fucking jobs so uh, for some people, so, it is what it is, again, part of that big picture, there's only so much I can fucking do, so, <clears throat> I'll try to stay in my lane and make, uh, influence, uh, 
and uh, try to make things the best I can in my world, you know. But, uh, so along with that, <laughs> that's <laughs> why I feel the way I feel. And uh, as uh, Aaron Clary says, <clears throat> whether you like him, hate him, this guy's got some good points. And uh, he's got that book and his saying, enjoy the decline. And uh, that's where I'm at, brothers. Enjoying the decline the best that I can. And uh, looking out for number one. But uh, this is a motherfucker. At least the way down should be okay. Hopefully. That's why I'm doing this. Fitness for life. Damn. Fucking sweating. But yeah. So if you hung around this long, I appreciate it. Do what you can. Do the best you can with what you got. And uh, enjoy the, the decline, my friends. <laughs> the best that you can. And uh, when I'm done with this hike, I'm going home. I'm drinking some beer. I'm going to make me some chicken wild rice soup and then I'm going to get drunk and play some video games so. <laughs> anyway love it love this lifestyle love the philosophy remember <clears throat> don't get married don't cohabitate If you have sex, protect yourself and avoid soy. <laughs> Talk to you later. 20 out.